Welcome to another episode of the Pan-African Traders podcast. Today we have Marcelo. Um, how do I say your last name, Marcelo? I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> in, por in Portuguese, it would be Rocha Dias, but in English, it's like Rocha Dias. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try like in Portuguese, Rocha Dias. I, I, that's, the, yes. that's the best I can do. Um, yeah, so, you know, Marcelo, actually, what would be best is if you kind of explain yourself, um, you know, what you do, etc. So tell us a little bit about you, what you do, where you're from, and then we can get the conversation going. Great. Hello, everyone. For me, it's an honor to be here. Thank you, Malobi. Thank you so much. When you invited me, it was so exciting for me. I really, I was really happy. I, I tell everyone I know, oh, you don't, uh, you can't believe it. I was speaking a podcast of Nigeria, it's Malobi, a great friend. Oh, that's great. So I'm really happy to be here uh, and I'm excited to explain and talk about me and learn more about you, Nigeria, and everything else. So my name is Marcelo, uh, I'm a Brazilian, uh, born and raised. Uh, Brazil is a really big country. I'm from the south of Brazil. So it's, uh, it's not, I'm not from Sao Paulo, I'm not from Brasilia, I'm not from Rio de Janeiro. I'm from a, a smaller city, it's called Balneário Camboriú. But uh, everything in Brazil it happens in Sao Paulo, so I go a, a lot to Sao Paulo as well. Uh, I work, I'm a lawyer, uh, I'm a former lawyer. In fact, I, I work con with consultant and something, uh, some other stuff in, in law. But I went to the international uh, business uh, world. And when I, I started uh, working with international business, uh, I, I get close to a chamber of commerce. That's the chamber of commerce Brazil ECOWAS. I, I study about uh, Africa. I lo love uh, Africa so much, but I, if I say that I understand and know deeply about Africa, it would be a lie. But when I get contact with the Chamber of Commerce and start working, now I'm the director uh, in Brazil of the Chamber of Commerce, I start studying uh, the culture of African countries, uh, especially uh, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, Ivory Coast, that's three countries that I really like it. Uh, and I profoundly in love of, in these countries. So I start studying and knowing people from these countries. And I, before I thought, oh, Africa, that's, be, that's so, maybe it's so different from Brazil. But now I can talk with my lobby the first time, like if I was talking with a Brazilian friend, we are like the same. The, uh, the soul of Brazil, the soul of uh, Africa is just like the same, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> like the US, like US, uh, we, we have a lot of African in Brazil, but different from US in Brazil, the, the cultures are mixed. If you listen to a Brazilian song, you can see African rhythms in, in the yeah. song. So we are, we are so close, your culture is so close. That's why I profoundly in love with Africa. I'm profoundly in love with Nigeria. And for me, my work in the Chamber of Commerce, it's not a, a work, it's like a mission. It's a, it's, I'm a passionate uh, about it. So I, maybe I say a lot of trouble things, but this is Marcelo, a passionate person uh, from Brazil, a passionate perso person uh, of Africa. And I know that this re relationship is just starting, we ju just beginning. Ah, that, that's brilliant. And that's an amazing, you know, introduction. You know, there's a, there's a lot to, to unpack there. First of all, I just wanted to find out, you know, you said you started off in law and you started looking towards, you know, the international business. So what, what made you start looking in that direction? And, and how long ago did that happen? Oh, it... In fact, uh, the first step of international uh, affairs, not business, uh, it was when I uh, was studying in the college. Uh, 
I really looking for be a, a diplomatic, diplomatic career in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it, it was something decent for me uh, because I'm not from a rich uh, family in Brazil to be diplomatic, you have some issues that you need uh, some profoundly contact. So I went to, to law and my first steps was working with trading companies, uh, with consultant, with some, uh, resolving their problems, uh, formulating contracts. And they asked, oh, Marcelo, could you, uh, could you see something for us? Could you uh, look at this uh, for us if, if other country? And so I began, began, began with a little uh, contact, began with uh, a little uh, works, uh, connections, mm -hmm. and I started working and I, I was introduced to the, um, to the international business. It was around, I can say that I'm working, really working with international business around four years, but it, it uh, began earlier, nice. maybe eight years. Wow, that's, that's, that's a really interesting journey. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're on this journey because otherwise we'd, we wouldn't have met each other. So that's really great to hear. And, um, you know, you, you touched on the, 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 inter the, the connection between Brazil and West Africa or Africa in general. Um, is this something that is part of Brazilian culture? Do people like embrace African culture a lot in Brazil? Yes. Uh in Brazil, I think we are living uh, we are living a moment that I see a lot of people from the United States living as well. Uh, the African diaspora, the people who want to to know the uh, the ancestors, want to know more about the culture they are from. Uh, and in fact, in Brazil, it's never been disconnected because we always had this disconnection in the culture. Uh, with clothes, with the daily uh, foods, uh, uh, the foods from Nigeria and Brazil, mm -hmm. they are almost the same. D different names, maybe some spi different spice, but they're uh, really the same. So we had we already have a connection, really different from uh, other countries like Europe and United States. But this, uh, this sa the same journey that we are living this momentum, that the Americans uh, coming to Africa, wanting to know about Africa, wanting mm -hmm. to invest in Africa because of... It's happening right now with, with Brazilians. Uh, with... Uh, uh, I, I don't know if it, uh, how it will sound, but with Brazilians uh, from African origin and Brazilians that no, don't have an African origin as well, because mm. we, we have a great connection uh, about it. Oh, that's that's really interesting. And, um, and and do you think it's, you know, in terms of, you say it, it's something that's happening in the same way it's happening in, in the United States. So when you started working with the, you know, Chamber of Commerce, is this a new thing, the sort of, push to build a relationship with ECOWAS or is it something that has been going on for a long time but it hasn't really had um, a lot of investment or something so how is this a new thing for the Chamber of Commerce in Brazil? Uh, so the Chamber of Commerce Brazil ECOWAS that I'm director is working uh, we we are a chamber around 12 years and working with Africa more much more time around 25 years. Uh, my our president, uh, you live it in Ivory Coast. Uh, our CEO uh, lived in Ghana, uh, lived for, from for a long time. Now uh, the CEO living in Sweden, but every every year uh, they go to Ghana. Uh, the president are, uh, around two uh, every year two about two and two years goes to Ivory Coast. So we, we, we maintain the, uh, the connection. But 25 years ago, uh, we don't, uh, Bra Brazil and Nigeria and Ivory Coast and Ghana doesn't have some connections. It was two different and distant worlds. 
right now with the internet, with the connections, with the information, it's getting close. But I can see clearly in the in the past five five years for now, Brazil is connecting much more with uh, with Africa, uh, and they can say with West Africa, but also with Angola. Brazil has a, a, a really strong connection with Angola because of the Portuguese origin and the language, and Cabo Verde uh, as well. But Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Ghana are uh, I can say Senegal as well are three, uh, four countries that uh, Brazilian is connecting more and more. And I can say I can say to you clearly, uh, if you listen to to this uh, podcast in ten years from now, you 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 can be sure you, you will be a lot of Brazilians in Lagos uh, walking the street. You will see a lot of Brazilian. We will see our pagode, our caipirinha, and uh, Brazilian soccer players <laughs> amazing i can't wait i can't wait because this is this is the start of something that is potentially going to be huge and and like yourself i want to see that connection i want to see brazilians in africa i want to see africans in brazil i want to see the exchange of cultures and you know because there's a lot of things we have to offer each other um not just in trade like culturally and like historically and it's so much of a deep connection and I think we just need the, we need to bring that back together, and so yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes, and, yeah. and that sort of leads me on to you know what what your organization specifically does, right? The the Brazil ECOWAS Chamber of Commerce um, project. What, what what are you actually trying to do? So perfect. Uh, the na the name of the Chamber of Commerce, in fact, is uh, Chamber of uh, development, integration, and commerce Brazil Ecos because we believe that we first we need to integrate ourselves. Uh, we need to speak as we are doing right now. We need to dinner. We need to visit. I need to know your family. You need to know my family. Speaking as countries, we need to. I need to know the the troubles that Nigeria is facing. We need to know the problems that Brazil are facing. We need to also see the good stuff that we are facing to integrate ourselves. So when you are integrated, when you, we can say we are friends, we need to de develop, de uh, develop ourselves. So right now we are friends, me and you. Now I can, we can develop development of uh, a travel together. We can develop a business together. So that's the second uh, step, development, integration, development, and just after we're looking for business, huh? the commerce. So the, the vision of the Chamber of Commerce is that, and the, is our vision of life as well. I'm working with the Chamber of Commerce because I have the same philosophy that the founder of the Chamber has, and the people that work with us have. If somebody starts to work with us and don't have this philosophy, we just we don't need to say they them to quit because it uh, just don't work. They uh, they automatically uh, see that don't work. So I'm I saying that because the philosophy for me is really important. What the chamber uh, does, we do we do uh, some uh, work in social impacts, but we are not a, a philosopher. Uh, and we are not a, a chamber of philanthropy, but we do some works. We receive uh, from entrepreneurs from Africa what they want from Brazil to close the gaps uh, and start business. Uh, sometimes people, uh, entrepreneurs from Africa want a commodity from Brazil, wants a, a industrial product from Brazil, or wants capital for investment from Brazil so we can do it. And as well, Brazilians want to invest, want to share their product with Africa, uh, wants to sell something, we do it as well. And connect, like we have a city in Brazil that's called Porto Alegre. It's a big city, around uh, 2 million people. Uh, some people from, Etio uh, from Kenya, from Kenya is not ECOWAS, but we, we talk with other countries as well. From Kenya, uh, 
the people that run the speeders, uh, athlete, athletics, uh, they they come to Porto Alegre, they train to in Porto Alegre to compete in Brazilian marathon. We have a big marathon. They uh, stay in Porto Alegre. That is where the Chamber of Commerce uh, is based to, to train. All of this is the, the Chamber of Commerce does. And uh, the Chamber of Commerce let some judo, judo fighters from Brazil to train in Africa as well. We do this, uh, this exchange of, uh, of uh, sport, sportsmen, sportsmen and other things. We have philanthropy, we have uh, ecological uh, business. Uh, we are we are trying to start to begin some tur uh, touristic routes and w one route that I'm really looking for is Latin Brazilian that likes coffee that produ the producers of coffee the owners of coffee shops and uh, baristas goes to Africa to visit where the co where the coffee comes <laughs> yeah, where is the absolutely. origin of coffee you know. Yes, that's amazing. Wow, these are these are amazing initiatives. And when you were talking about all those things, it actually came to my mind, like, it'd be great to have one for like, because um, you mentioned judo, but um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is very big, especially in the mixed martial arts field. So, you know, the MMA, the mixed martial arts is taking off in, in, in West Africa, because we have two world champions from Nigeria right now in the UFC, um, Israel Adesanya and um, Kamaru Usman. And so um, it would be great to do some sort of cultural exchange for like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, teach the people in here, you know, how to do the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, or maybe for them to come to Brazil and learn like, you know, young people that might not have as, as, as many opportunities that show a lot of talent for them to come to Brazil and learn these, these fighting skills. So. There's there's so much we can do together. Like it's 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 crazy, and um, yeah. and like yeah. you said, the, the the coffee one as well is great. Um, you know, there was uh, some people I met on Clubhouse, and you know they're from the United States, but you know they raised some money, and now they're going to Rwanda, um, they're going to Ethiopia, and they're getting to learn a bit more about you know where coffee really comes from, the real original coffee, and so yeah, this this is this is very very promising, and I'm really looking forward to. You know, seeing how it develops, and then finally, you, you mentioned that you know it's integration and then development. Um, a lot of things, if you try and force it too much, if you try and skip a step, it doesn't come across as authentic. And so, I think it's great that you're starting off. You know, like you said, you're building friendships, relationships, and then that can expand into something even bigger in the future. So, you know, it it, it sounds you know like an amazing project, and I cannot wait to see where where this things go in goes in the next couple of years and it, it makes me kind of wonder from your perspective you know what as someone that's been working on this project for a while now what are the some of the, the, the difficulties or challenges that you've had so far that you know maybe you're willing to share so that we can see how myself or maybe someone that's listening can help to you know fix those problems and help you guys move even further okay uh I think the, the first step is what we are doing right now. It's connecting, it's knowing more about the, the countries. Uh, I can say a lot of people from other countries doesn't understand so well what Brazil is. And you know that people don't understand what Nigeria really is and Africa really is, that really are. Uh, that That's a, a problem that uh, our countries that are development countries, uh, early countries, uh, we are not old countries, uh, facing. Brazil is older than Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is a really young country, but uh, you have a, a, a cultural uh, root much more deeply than Brazil. Brazil is a recent, recent uh, people. You, you are a historical people but you are a younger count. That's uh, the first step. So information, I think what you sh should do if possible and you are doing right now, it's talking about Brazil for, for mm -hmm. your entrepreneur friends 
as I do, talking about Africa, uh, teaching what Africa is for people that want to learn. That's the first step. Second, it's really important to connect like we are doing right now, but with webinars, uh, with trade fairs, I think visit the uh, countries like you said to me uh, last week. Uh, you want to come to Brazil, that's great. I think need to visit Brazil. Uh, I think Brazil, Brazilians need to visit Africa. So that's a second gap. And to do it, uh, what people that are listening can do, it's open opportunities, open uh, show what Nigeria can offer. That, that's something I try to do as well, but show what you can offer and don't be afraid to show what kind of business you want. I think we need to be clear what kind of business you want. Uh, Pan-African traders is really specific in it. You can see what Pan-African traders is. That's why I really, uh, really passionate about the Pan-African trade. It's a platform that wants to connect that kind of job, that kind of platform uh, works and uh, can really accelerate the process of connections. That's the kind of things uh, we can do. So fairs, so uh, vis visitation, uh, show what we can offer, show what our countries have. I think could could be that. Uh, and for like problems, troubles that we may face. Brazil has some uh, buro bu uh, bureaucracy. Uh, we have a lot of taxes. We it's a little bit difficult to do things in Brazil, but we are doing things. <laughs> it's difficult, but uh, we can do. I think that's a, a problem that some African countries uh, face. In Brazil, we face a little bit is corruption. That is, is difficult. So that that's why it's important to talk with the right person. I'm say right person, not the one to bribe. No, I say the right person, that honest, that you can you can really trust. That is driving a trustful a job, a trustful offer. So and connect with real person, because you I, I know that. Uh, Nigeria faces a lot of people that make scams, that uh, f fake negotiations in Brazil. Uh, we have so much as well. Uh, when I when I talk with uh, some Brazilians about uh, business in Africa, they know at least one time that someone uh, tried to do a business, but it wasn't a real business, and that they uh, they. They lost money and everything. But I know uh, a lot of Africans, a, a lot of Europeans, a lot of Chinese that say the same from Brazil. Oh, I tried to do business in Brazil, but the, that's not a, it was a fake offer. Ah, I, I, I pay advance and the, the people ghosts, and I, never, I never see them before. So that's a problem that uh, both Nigeria and Brazil faces, Africa and Brazil faces. I can I can uh, tell about you because we it happens here as well, and I just talking that because it's something that we we need to to change, and knowing people uh, like you and knowing uh, work jobs like work no sorry uh, and knowing platforms like Pan African Trades is the way that we can really do trustful and prosper uh, prosper business that that's that's well said um trust 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 is very important and that's why you know when we we, we started pan-african traders we didn't want to bring all the different suppliers at the same time we took a time we look we looked at the individual suppliers that wanted to come onto the platform we're using particular payment methods where you know when the buyer sends the money it comes to us we hold on to it when the goods get to the buyer, we release the funds to the seller. So there are little things we can do. But like you said, you know, it's, it's a problem that we have in Africa, we have in Brazil. But, you know, we're, we're going to find ways, we're going to find solutions. And like you said, we have to build real relationships so that we can try and avoid these things. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit because you said we should we should promote our countries. We can talk about 
what our countries are about. So that what, what, what's, what's special, what does Brazil have to offer? You know, I remember in the previous conversation we had, you said um, some of the main crops that you guys export. So can you just, you don't have to list every, everything, but some of the interesting things when it comes to exports or imports or um, main, major cultural things, what, what does Brazil have to offer? So, soccer players? <laughs> Don't <be> kidding. <laughs> we 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 used to have a good MMA mixed martial arts uh, athletes as well, but yeah. now has a country in Africa called Nigeria that <laughs> has better <laughs> fighters as well. <laughs> but I'm kidding. But in Brazil, we we have some commodities products that uh, sugar. In fact, uh, a lot of uh, African entrepreneurs come to Brazil trying to 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 negotiate sugar. Uh, Brazil has a lot of soybeans, and our uh, main market is China. The Chinese buys a lot of soybeans from Brazil. We have corn, and co we do a lot of things with corn, uh, but especially especially uh, food for the for cows for the cattle. Yeah, we have in a region that's south of Brazil, the region that I'm, I'm living in, uh, rice. We have Brazilian rice as well. Uh, and we have, in other products, we have some fruits, uh, other stuff. Brazil uh, have uh, a large quantity of cattle, so we trade a lot of meat, a lot of chicken meat as well. And we have we have uh, some industries, uh, some products that we, uh, we export. Brazil has a lot, uh, uh, a strong industries of clothes, especially shoes. We have a lot of shoes in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, we talked about that <laughs> uh, some days ago, and the, with the Chamber of Commerce, we 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 work with these uh, entrepreneurs, with these industrials that wants to uh, reach the uh, African countries. So the last deal that, uh, the, the last project that I uh, started and we are uh, working on it right now with our, with our partners and friends from Ghana, it's batteries, uh, car, car battery. We are producing here in Brazil. We are exporting to Ghana. Yeah, that's that's a project that is already running. In the we are in the final is we are in the last mile, the final details. So, in our vision uh, and the vision that these entrepreneur has, we we want to start uh, begin with a con one container, three containers to g get to a point that the industry will be in Ghana or Nigeria or uh, Ivory Coast, but in Africa, that that's our to go uh, to go until begins a uh, industry in Africa. Our vision is to connect these two points. But you you asked me about exportation in Brazil. That's the main products and cultural things. What can I say? If you think of Brazil, if you think about carna uh, Carnival, in Carnival is different yeah. in each region of Brazil. And uh, the uh, Carnival that I really like it is Carnival from Salvador. Salvador is uh, the eastern of Brazil. It's a beautiful city. Uh, who knows? Africa says that Salvador is like another African uh, capital because it's looking like Africa culturally. Uh, everything's a really beautiful city. I'm passionate uh, of Salvador. I I really want to to live sometime there because it's a beautiful city. So Carnival from Salvador, it's uh, a cultural a cultural value that we have in Brazil. We have from Rio de Janeiro, other stuff. So. Culturally, I think car carnival, sports, Brazilian, e Brazil is really connected with sports. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, I'm, I practice. I really love Jiu-Jitsu. Mm -hmm. uh, it for me is a lifestyle that Jiu-Jitsu have a strong root in Brazil. So 
we have Brazilian have a, a strong uh, culture and philosophy of sports, um, uh, martial arts, uh, soccer, and other kinds of sports. In music, we have a lot of traditional music. We have uh, like a country of United States, but from Brazil, there is a certain age we call is a cultural uh, music. We have funk. Funk is like a Brazilian hip hop. And if you say, if you if you listen, uh, the the bass, the rhythm, looks like some artists that I know from Africa. It's really look like we have the same uh, rhythm. And we have uh, some traditional like bossa nova, other stuff. But everything you see from Brazilian music have a, a roof from Africa. As, as rock and roll in the United States came from blues and blues came from African. So every, everything comes back of, from Africa. Even <laughs> yes. you cannot uh, go out of that. <laughs> exactly. You can't, you can't escape it. That, that's amazing. And I've, I've heard some of the, I don't know what they call it, baile funk or something. And the rhythms yeah. are so bouncy and it's so exciting. And I know that that kind of music could take off here in Nigeria. Like it's, it's so, the rhythm is so inviting, you know? So yeah, you, you just listed a, a lot of very, very interesting things. Um, I'm sure people that are listening in right now are going to be, you know, on their laptops, Googling Brazil, you know, <laughs> sugar and all these kinds of things. So, um, you know, thanks, thanks for sharing all of that stuff. And um, I, also, whilst you were talking about, you know, Salvador, it kind of made me think about um, the, 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 Af the, the African or the, or the darkest skinned people in Brazil, you know, is, is, is it like, you know, the black people in Brazil live in particular parts, like in the north or the east or something, or is everywhere in Brazil kind of mixed and a lot of mestizo and mulatto and all that kind of stuff? Uh, Brazil has uh, a different process of of cultural and of people from the United States. Brazil and United States, they look like in, in some stuff because the beginning of Brazil and beginning of the United States was like the same. Two countries that uh, Europeans come to uh, start cities and the de development, two big countries uh, with states, so that, that's some parts that Brazil and United States uh, looks like. But when Africans come to United States, we, uh, what happened? And nowadays, you, in United States, you, ha you have the black community and you have the Latin community, you have the Jewish community, the American community, the Italian community. If you go to New York, you have uh, Ch uh, Chinese, uh, uh, you have Chinatown, you have, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you have a lot of Harlem, you have a lot of Latin people. So it's all mixed. In Brazil, it's different. In Brazil, it's different. In Brazil, we have a, a mix of cultures and a mix uh, of bloods. Uh, my gra my grandmother is uh, has a uh, came from a black family, uh, and my the family from my mother is from Portugal, and we we have some parents that we don't know where they come. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> if uh, if they were Jewish, if they were uh, Arabian. We don't know. So I, I have at least three different bloods, mm. uh, if you say. For me, it's just one blood, but uh, three different. I, ha I have some friends that are indigenous, uh, indigenous from Brazil, uh, na native from Brazil, uh, and Arabian. So in Brazil, we have uh, a mix of, of cultures. So it's a little bit different. Uh, because because we are all mixed, but there uh, we have black communities in all over Brazil. In Salvador, it, uh, that region uh, of eastern region is a region that we have uh, the most powerful uh, black black community and the black culture 
in the black culture, uh, you can see more with more emphasis in, in the streets within the culture. Uh, where I'm living right now, uh, I used to live in the capital, that is the middle of Brazil, but right now I'm living in, in the south for a while. Uh, we have more Europeans. We look like uh, Argentina. It's the, the region of Brazil that looks more like Argentina. The black community is a little bit smaller than uh, Eastern, but we have a strong uh, black community as well. In Rio de Janeiro, uh, have a, a, a really strong black community, but we, but the the people are, are mixed. So we, we call mulatto. Uh, yeah. In fact, I, I am a mulatto, but uh, okay. with, with uh, a more white skin, like Latin. I don't know. <laughs> that for me, it's difficult to to. To say it in English because in English, uh, English is not my main language, That's uh, funny. and <laughs> I, I want to be uh, respectful because uh, this kind of thing is really important. Some is something that we discuss a lot in, of Bra in Brazil. Yeah. I think in all around the world, eh? Black Lives Matter, everything. So uh, it's important to discuss, but I I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, anybody please. <laughs> No, it's yes. fine. That's fine. But yeah, I think I think you summed it up very well, um, and it, I think a lot of people would really appreciate your your explanation in terms of how the the start of Brazil and the start of America was somewhat similar in some ways, but the the way that it's mixed is is a little bit different. And I think that's really interesting. I think that a lot of people would not know that. So um, yeah, thank you very much for kind of explaining that, and and I think you explained that very well in the most. Um, you know, correct <laughs> and polite yeah. way. So thank you for that. Um, if I can say something uh, uh, about the the Brazilian people, uh, you can look uh, as a Brazilian uh, soccer uh, team. Mm. Uh, like, you, you, how can you describe Neymar? Neymar is yeah. uh, he he is black, but he. Is not an African yes, as well. Yes, exactly. Uh, exactly. In 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 the in if you say if you see all, all the the Brazilian team, you have someone that looks like uh, somebody from Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, uh, blue eyes, and you and you see somebody that you can see uh, African origin. You have somebody like Neymar. You have somebody like me that is a mixed. So yeah. Br Brazil is like that. If you see the MMA fighters from Brazil, we have C fighters from Brazil. We have Lioto Machida that yeah, is yeah. Asian. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, Anderson Silva, the black man. We yeah. have some that white. Uh, Aldo, Aldo is well. mixed. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. it's Brazil. And Gisele Beach is from Brazil. She's look like a uh, German, <laughs> but yeah. she's Brazilian. That's all mixed. That's so true. Actually, yeah, you, you do see it reflecting in the sports teams and like the, the MMA as well. Like there's such a variety and, and it just goes to show how how mixed the culture is. And, you know, for people that are in Africa that want to visit Brazil, you know, it's encouraging because they can they can go and feel like, you know, they're, they're not feeling like a stranger. Yes, you're going to speak a different language and all that kind of stuff. But if, if your culture is so mixed, that means that it's an open culture. So that's really, really good to hear. And I'm sure a lot of people are, are, are looking to see how they can book flights to Brazil right now. So, yo, this is this has been an amazing conversation. I think I think we need a part two, but I'll, I'll give you a, oh. some, some time to, to relax and en enjoy your life. <laughs> and then we'll come yeah. back and do another one because, um, yeah, there's, there's been such a, a lot of information. And I think the people listening in would really benefit from it. But it's the start of, a, of, like you said, a relationship, a journey. And so maybe we can revisit this in a couple months and talk about how this ECOAS Brazil um, relationship is building, what kind of projects you've been able to accomplish and, and so on. But, um, but aside from that, I'll leave it there. So, you know, just to round things up, um, what would you kind of, you know, say to, any final words to people that, you know, maybe to promote your your chamber of commerce or to promote Brazil? Any any final words just to close this off and end the, the meeting? 
So, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I really thought we are going to, to talk more about business. But for me, it was really much better, much, much more better to talk about Brazilian culture. It's a pleasure to me. And I really hope that everyone understands well what I, I wanted to say. So in the, my final words, <laughs> in my final words, I, I want to tell if, if you that are listening right now uh, to, to visit my Instagram if you, uh, if you like, if you please, and ask me anything that you want. I'm open to, uh, to answer some question, to know you, and to, to connect you with Brazil. And for me, it would be a, a pleasure to connect with you as well and visit you in Africa that are listening right now. So uh, visit my Instagram, visit the Chamber of Commerce, and you can, we can continue this conversation uh, personally. You listen right now, you can uh, ask and I can answer. No problem. And for a final word is op open your mind to the world. I know if you you listen right now, you is really you are in effort for that, but open your mind. Right now I'm talking about Brazil, but Brazil is not one country. We have a lot of countries in South America, uh, Africa have a lot of countries. Uh, you, Malob is from Nigeria, but Nigeria is a great country, but you, you have great countries uh, by your side. There are a lot of neighbor countries, really good. You have South American uh, countries uh, and big countries like U USA, European countries. We have a lot, but open our mind. Uh, no, no more about Brazil. Uh, visit Brazil, but visit all, count all their countries and, and especially visit your country. Uh, know what you have the best of our country and show it to the world. If I, if I can say something, show you to the world, show your country to the world. That's my final word. Oh, uh, word. That, that's, a, that's a beautiful way to end it. And also, what's, what's your Instagram handle just for people to, to, to be able to connect with you? Oh, maybe it's difficult to I can work, <laughs> to them I can, because it's Brazil. I, I can put it in the description. I can put it in the in the description of the thing. But you can just say it, and then I'll put it in the description for people to look it up. <laughs> Marcelo Rocha Dias. I don't know if you. <laughs> it's R -A -R, R O C H A D I A S. Marcelo R O C A R O C H A D I A S. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just Google that on Instagram, guys. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to find him. And, yeah, this is this has been brilliant. And like you said, I know we wanted to get into the business stuff, but I think this was good because we're just setting the stage. We're getting people warmed up to the to what is Brazil, who you are, what your, your organization does. And then in the next, you know, part, we can talk more about the business um, stuff. So, yeah, I think it's been brilliant. Thank you again, Marcelo. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chat some more offline and, and have, a, have a nice afternoon in, in Brazil. Thanks so much. And uh, it, be a, it was a honor and I'm looking forward to the next one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.